walk us through what was the inspiration this time and what went into creating this stunning uh, look for Aisha. So, um, my, my, my. sorry, which one should I take? This one? This one? Yeah. Okay. Um, so actually, when uh, Nitin and I got paired to do the two designer show together, we started um, discussing the whole concept. And it was great because I was thinking along the same lines as well in terms of his Baroque influence because of a recent trip that I had taken to Lisbon. And I really fell in love with the place because of the Baroque influence, the romance, the art and the architecture. So everything that you see on the shoes, we have... Um, use like a unique way of texturing them so that it gives you like a very unique, glamorous look and feel. Um, and we want our shoes to stand out. So we've really worked to bring new techniques on the ramp that you wouldn't have seen in footwear in India so far. Um, and the whole idea behind the brand is that we want to bring together old world charm, but also at the same time have an element of bold glamour because we do believe that like, women these days are breaking barriers and they're very bold and confident and we want our shoes to reflect that as well. Thank you. Uh, Nitin, can we hear from you about what went into creating the new collection? So this collection was um, actually more like a story. So it, uh, the name of the collection is Heroine of the Opera. And it is a story of a little girl who was uh, born in an opera. Her name is Juliet. Right, so you'll see a different phases of Juliet. The Juliet um, used to look up to her mother who, who was a choir singer, right? And when you see a big choir, if you like, even if you see the music of the show and everything, it was like heavy orchestra, choir. So choir people are normally not in the forefront. They're not in the front seat. They're, you know, in the, in the back seat. And uh, so Juliet used to feel very upset when she used to see her mother, you know, sort of dedicatedly working very hard. But you'll never see her name, you know, on the records. Even when people are applauding, they're applauding the main lead, right? And the choir just fades away. So that's where she decided to take the center stage. So if you see, the collection was in parts and phases. You know, when you see Aisha's outfit, when she opened this, you know, it's very innocent. You know, it's the first phase, right? Very innocent, still very sexy at the same time. It's got an old worldly feeling. And when it comes on the Malvika's garment, which is, you know, which is very gothic, dark, but very strong. You know, it is like a ballerina gown, which has got an element of dark romance. At the same time, it has got a bit of femininity and sensuality. So that was the, the whole stages of the thing. Uh, so over to you, stunning ladies. Aisha, I'll start off with you. What was it like when you got to know that you were going to be wearing this dress on stage for us? I absolutely loved it. And uh, I couldn't be happier to be wearing something like that. You know, something that you genuinely like and you're just not wearing it. I think the thought, when they told me the whole story behind it, when Nitin told me what he thinks of the outfit and it is representing the European theatrical opera period and all of that, and it feels stunning to wear. So I was completely delighted with my outfit. And about the shoe, I would say the same thing. I actually love the name Misfit. It's yeah. be you, be true, be a misfit. It doesn't get better than that. So I love that, and I think uh, even the shoe, the detailing they have on it, the laser cut 3D, the, everything that goes with it. It's a lot of, it's the perfect blend of drama and romance. It's the same about the outfit as well. So I think they've got such a perfect blend. And to see that they're doing, there are Indian designers who are doing that. Yeah. It's absolutely like an eye opener. I, I was completely blown away when I saw my outfit, when I saw the shoe, when the whole ensemble that I was wearing. Perfect. So I loved it. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I've worn uh, one of his uh, um, uh, creations before, and I had a blast wearing it. So when I found out that um, you know we'd be collaborating uh, for his first Lakme show ever, and mine as well, I was very very excited to do this together with him. Um, and I I absolutely love the collection. I love um, I love the colors he's used. I love the patterns. And I remember getting into this outfit when we did the trials. And I I, didn't, I was like I don't feel like getting out of it. <laughs> you know it's fun. It's not it's not too much. It's very comfortable. It's fun. It's stylish. It's everything. It's everything a girl of today's generation would want to you know be. So I think that really resonated with me. Uh, and uh, plus, he's a great guy to work with. Yeah, he's uh, he's yeah, <laughs> he's amazing. <laughs> and uh, I also have to add that I love 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 the shoes. So uh, thank you. They're amazing and so much fun. And if they go missing, you know, <laughs> you know where you'll find them. <laughs> but yeah, we had a great time, and I'm glad to be a part of this today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh,